I am Joshin Ng. Um, I'm a Royal Society uh, Research Fellow based in the Electronic and Electrical Engineering Department in University of Sheffield. Um, my expertise is in photodiodes, uh, which are semiconductor devices that convert light signal to electrical current so that it can be further processed by other equipment. So these photodiodes can be found from X-ray uh, scanners used in medical uh, applications or security gates through to um, infrared uh, thermal imaging cameras. The molecular beam epitaxy machine um, would grow a uh, semiconductor wafers about this diameter and then we would make devices um, out of them first to test. Um, the devices that I mainly work on, um, they are a more sensitive type of uh, photodiodes. They use what we call the avalanche effect. So it's very much like the avalanche you, you might have from like say the snow mountain. Um, as it tumbles down, it, it gets bigger and bigger. So it's the same thing happening in the devices that I work in. So the tiny signal that I get initially gets multiplied and multiplied and multiplied and becomes something very, very large. And that turn tends to rise above the noise floor and then the measurement can become very accurate. Um, I also work on some sort of ultimate type of detector which is the most sensitive that you could, you could get. Um, so this would be used for um, ranging of distance down to maybe millimeter accuracy over several kilometers. I was born in Malaysia in a state called Johor, very, very close to Singapore. My, my dad was and still an oil palm, palm plantation manager looking after huge estates of commercial um, oil palms. And my mom, um, she became a housewife after I was born. Just not possible to look after two children and continue her work. Um, and I came to Sheffield about 16 years ago, it's been a long time, uh, to do my undergraduate degree. Um, only wanted to stay for two years, but then I carried on to do a PhD, postdoc, and then I got this research fellowship. Um, so here I am. I've always had a very rational mind, um, and I always felt a bit weird when I was growing up, um, which could have suggested to me I'm quite suited to this kind of engineering career. But that never crossed my mind, um, mainly because I didn't do very well in the science subjects in, in school. Um, until the very last year of my high school, there was that physics teacher, suddenly all the concepts click. And I went from just over the passing mark to 90 odd percent immediately. And that was when I decided that maybe I can do engineering. And then I picked electronic engineering because that seemed very much compatible with what I learned at school. I, I didn't know any better. I'm now fully aware I'm in minority, being a female and non-white working in electronic engineering. Um, very strangely, I only noticed it until about a few years ago. Um, although I've always, nearly always been the only female in any technical meeting. In a lot of circumstances that I've come across, um, despite, despite the fact that I'm minority in race and in gender, when I make a technical point, my expertise is respected. People have to listen to me when I give an opinion on the area that I'm expert in. I think it's quite, it's quite clear cut in the engineering um, community that if you have got a point, you can convince others. I'm in the stage of my career, about mid-career, and I've got two happy children. We, well, we as in myself and my husband, we think it's mainly because both of us want to work um, and have good careers. And he is extremely supportive of me carrying on working, developing as a person professionally. 
Um, we have constructed our life such that everything is very efficient um, to allow us both working and have uh, two children growing up happily.